Hi, this is Sarah here at Penitentiary Glen Kevin P. Clinton Wildlife Center with Lake Metro Parks. And with me today, we have Adam, our box turtle, and Picasso, our painted turtle. So you can see that they're both turtles, but they look a little different. So Adam is a terrestrial turtle. He spends most of his time in a forest on land. And Picasso is a aquatic turtle. So you can see he's got a very streamlined shell and some webbing on his back feet that help him swim pretty fast. So even though Adam can swim a little bit, it's not as good as Picasso's swimming ability. Sorry, Adam. So I'll put Adam down so you can see him kind of walk around using his little feet. And we'll, he'll explore where he wants to go. Now Picasso's kind, the painted turtle, um, you probably see them a lot here in Northern Ohio. Um, they like to spend a lot of time out in the sun, setting themselves on you know logs that are coming out of ponds. And this time of year, the females are on the move. So they are going to be laying their eggs. And sometimes that means that they have to cross roads in order to get to their favorite spot to lay their eggs. So even though Picasso is a male, we can pretend he's a female. So we'll put him on the, on the ground. And this is what you might come upon while you're driving. And it's, you know, a pretty small turtle, but they're pretty obvious when you see them. They're quite shiny and they're, you can see their colorful little faces. So if you wanna help a turtle cross the road, feel free to. The best way to do it um, is to kind of assess where they're going. So if you come upon a turtle and he's pointing across the road this way, um, that means she wants to go that way. Even though she's close to the edge of the road over here and it might look really nice over there, um, she wants to go this that way and that's where she lays her eggs. So to pick up a turtle, you can just come up behind them and grab them like this with both hands and then gently cr let them cross the road with you and make sure it's safe for you as well. Don't do it on any busy roads. And then you'll put him on the other side of the road like that. And she'll be ready to lay her eggs. Another common turtle you may find is the snapping turtle. Now these females, they cross roads as well as the painted turtles to lay their eggs. And they can walk up to a mile to their nest sites. Um, so the best way, if you ever find these guys on the road, to pick them up and help them, you can if you're feeling up to it, uh, is to go down here where the base of their tail is, not the end of their tail, but the base, and you're gonna grab onto their tails. You're going to lift them, kind of like you would lift like a spatula, and then you'd slide your other hand under and it'll be resting on top of their, pla or underneath their plastron right there. So this part right here is where your hand would go and you'd have your other hand holding them. So to demonstrate, kind of like this. Um, and you can do this with any size snapping turtle that you feel comfortable with. Um, and then you just gently lift and take them across the road like I showed you with Picasso. Um, you do not want to hold them from the sides because their neck is so long, I have another picture, that they could actually whip around and snap at you and maybe take a finger or two with you. So you can see the long neck, it can go about halfway down their bodies. They can't go underneath, so that's why your hand is safe underneath, but they can reach on top and on the sides. So if you're still not very comfortable with touching a snapping turtle, you don't feel confident, um, you could always use a stick and try and kind of help them across with the stick um, or even a shovel. Pick them up with a shovel if you have one, you know, in your car or close by. So that's some tips on helping snappers cross the road. And you'll always want to wash your hands after you touch wild turtles because they do carry harmful bacteria as well. So once again, my name's Sarah. I work here at the Pe Kevin P. Clinton Wildlife Center, 
And I hope you guys have a great day and hope you see some cool turtles out there.